Discussions for Learning is an oral vocabulary and language program based on fine art images and real-world photos. Each lesson focuses on one digitally projected image. The images alternate between fine art images and real-world photos. These images serve as authentic, engaging contexts for language development. They also serve as mini virtual field trips to museums and places throughout the USA and around the world. Let's look at some of the images along with the accompanying vocabulary words that are included in the program. The fine art images expose students to master artists, including such well-known artists as Vincent van Gogh, Monet, Renoir, Romer Bearden, Georgia O'Keeffe, Pablo Picasso, and Alexander Calder. Here is a print by Mary Cassatt from Level A. In Level A, four new vocabulary words are introduced in each lesson. Levels B through D introduce six new words per lesson. The words are not displayed on the actual images as the focus is on oral vocabulary and the natural acquisition of language. This artwork is from Jacob Lawrence's famous migration series. Diego Rivera's sculpture provides a great context for learning and remembering the word colossal. This truly is a colossal head. The fine art includes artworks from around the globe and across time, including this sculpture from ancient Egypt, a great image for your students to learn and remember the words formal and procession. Students discuss the fact that the people in the procession are bearing gifts. Students learn the words background and foreground while discussing this painting by a Mexican artist. Students learn the words meandering and landscape as they discuss this Japanese kimono. This chest plaque from ancient Panama is great for using the words fangs, grimace, snarl, terrify, ferocious, and symmetrical. And there are artworks from Native American artists from across North, Central, and South America. This 19th century basket and lid is from the Yokut culture of North America. The real world photos include iconic images from across the USA, including this image from Death Valley, California, great for discussing the undulating sand dunes. The Rainbow Bridge National Monument in Utah provides a springboard for discussing erosion and students discuss what a suspension bridge is as they view and discuss the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. There are many opportunities for connections to technology and engineering as students view and discuss a variety of structures and buildings. The real-world photos include dramatic images from around the world, such as this image of the Great Wall of China. Students discuss this contemporary image of a boy on an ancient structure. These prehistoric-style rooftops in Italy are included in UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. Cattle stranded on a strip in the Amazon in Bolivia following a deluge of rain. And this image of the nomadic people in Siberia and how they persevere in the severe cold. Students will see and discuss people at work and play from across the USA and around the world, including construction workers building a skyscraper, and these cricket players in Zimbabwe, a great way to compare cricket to baseball while using the words similar and dissimilar. Finally, students will discuss brilliant images of animals from a variety of habitats, including this sea otter clasping her newborn pup in the Gulf of Alaska. Students discuss how the sea otter's webbed feet and dense fur are two adaptations that help them survive. In Level A, students discuss the differences between male and female as they view this image of a peafowl in courtship display. Discussions for learning, more than any other curriculum, will accelerate your students' high-level vocabulary without a single worksheet or word list. Carefully crafted scripts ensure ongoing vocabulary review. The brilliant fine art and real-world photos serve as authentic, engaging contexts for developing oral vocabulary and language. The images also expose students to cultures around the globe and across time, from ancient civilizations to the present day. And Discussions for Learning has been proven through rigorous scientific testing to increase overall vocabulary knowledge, comprehension, and the ability of students to use context clues to figure out the meaning of unknown and challenging words. But what is really the magic of this program is seeing the level of success, pride, and engagement of students using the program. 
You, your students, and your students' parents will be amazed at how much students learn almost effortlessly in the same authentic, effortless way students acquire language before they enter kindergarten. Here is one testimonial from a first grade teacher who has 27 students in her first grade classroom, 14 of whom are from countries from all over the world, many of whom are newcomers. You can see the program in action on our website, discussionsforlearning.com. Discussions for Learning, an oral vocabulary and language program based on brilliant fine art images and real-world photos.